here we are, excited to talk about so many things. We're getting into Man, yes. which dropped today. Yes, finally, I'm so happy. <laughs> Before that, though, Up Rocks. Today, this morning, I started watching, I saw everything. Okay. It's got over a million views. The interview that you did on there, there's an extended version, obviously, as well, too, mm -hmm. right, for that whole thing. How cool is it to see all of the fans and all of the new fans that are coming aboard and knowing that it's over a million views right now? I, I um, wasn't sure that people would, like, even want to hear my story or, or know. I just didn't know how much people knew or didn't know, but it turns out people had no idea what happened to me. So right. it's... It's cool that I can give a little backstory as to where I've been or like what happened to me, and you know everybody has a story, and it's just it is nice to know that um, that is resonating with people, and what they're taking from it is like perseverance is great and patience can pay off. Yes, know? it's hard, mm -hmm. but it takes but time, and everything is supposed to be where it's at right yeah. now. I think for you, exactly. Is it exciting to know that you can kind of shed? that weight off of your shoulders now and be able to be free to say what really happened to you? Yeah, it feels really good uh, to be able to talk about it. And, of course, I, I, you know, I still went through a lawsuit. There are still things that are just smart not to really talk about. Right. But it is a part of my story, so I'm always going to talk about how I felt, how it impacted me, what, the you know, my truth has always been. And it's just great to get that out of the way so I can move forward with this new energy and yes. excitement because there's so much that that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, there's so much. It's And, and looking good doing it, by the Thank way. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> From the jewelry, everything head to toe. Thank you. We're excited. Just having fun with it. Yes, you got to have fun. Um, I want to go back to that place. Uh, you're, you and your mom, mm. so close, obviously, on this journey together when you were 12 years old first getting that deal yeah. um, and the, the hardships and the excitement though that you felt when that was taking place. I mean I can picture us skipping down Sunset Boulevard right now because we had just signed the contract and Dina LaPolte was my lawyer at the time and you know we were leaving her office and we were like this is gonna change our lives and it did change our lives yeah but me and my mom you know that's my that's my girl. Ace. Like we, yeah, <laughs> she just actually moved out from Boston and now she's out here with me so it's really really cool to our, our journey together and I think yeah. that right now now that we're both grown women in our own you know, different stages in our lives I think we're both helping each other heal like, yeah uh, it's a deep generational woo some, it's, <laughs> it's amazing it's really cool it's cool to see that right the development process and, and even getting closer I'm sure yes. to your mom yeah um speaking of moving I mean obviously you said present day your mom is now coming out here to Los Angeles during that time when you were signed you did move to Jersey yeah is that what it was was that transition hard for you as well because you were young even though this was a great opportunity yeah to uplift your lives and then go somewhere else well from Massachusetts we actually moved to California because I was being bullied so bad in school okay. um, in Massachusetts that I begged my mom to let us move to California and because I'm an only child and because she just saw what turmoil I was in I can't believe I convinced her, but we did live in California for a few months. Then I got signed, then was moved back to the East Coast in New Jersey, where I recorded my first album. So I think my spirit is just kind of adaptable. I mean, I just am, I can adapt to different situations. Right. So as a kid, I was like that too. Uh, and, and I was more excited for change because I, I didn't like the situation I was in at school where kids would be in such holes and yeah um, I felt really misunderstood and, and just really sad so. kids can be mean kids are crazy yeah adults too people be nice to right. people yes but it's good that you guys have persevered you're at a place now that looks good it feels good for you and yeah, you're excited and, and LA is is my home base now yeah I'll always be a New Englander from you know at heart but <laughs> this is where this is where I've been for the past few years um, and also in in your sit down, I know I want to make sure I get this right. The label at that time was having you on a 500 calorie a day diet as a teenager. I, I was, was 18. Not, okay, so it well, yeah, and that, that, that is still a teenager. That's still teen. But um, did you think that was strange? I thought it at was the, not right. Yeah, you I did. It was not you right. you felt that way. Yes, I you felt did. That okay, way. and yet because I felt that. Perhaps it's the way I look that's making them not want to release music. I was like, I'm going to, this must be a part of my job. And at the right. time, it was. At the time, it was. I, I, I've spoken to other female artists who have been in similar situations and who have felt the same, same pressure. Um, and I know I'm not alone in, in, in having that type of experience. Right. And I think that, honestly, in their mind, they thought that they were helping me. They thought that they were 
doing what was going to make me more as as appealing as possible to the this to is the not audience. correct this right. is a sick way of thinking and I'm glad that in 2020 we have a different relationship with um, expectations and and as women were saying no right you know I didn't have the confidence or the courage or any I didn't have it within me to say no I called it out. I said, this is not about me being healthy. Because they're like, we just want you to be as healthy as possible. But said, that's... That's not true. I, I'm 18. You want to put me on these these hormone injections to make my body think that, you know, I, I don't need to eat. Mm. I couldn't work out because when you're only eating 500 calories a day, you can't work out. No, you would pass out. Right. So, so the doctor, like, told me, you know, you just need to, like, save your energy, eat these berries, you know, eat, like, a little protein... Honestly, I'm not mad about it. It's just, I'm so glad that in 2020, people are not, this should not happen anymore. It's not, we're not so focused on, we need to look a certain way. We're just right. going to go out there, let's put our music out, the material, which is what you should have been had when you were 18 at that yeah, time. Yeah, and but... I'm glad that, that other young girls, I, I don't, I would be so upset if, if I heard about this still happening today. Yeah. So this just shouldn't happen anymore. Um, to those girls out there who are trying to do things, who might have still have that mindset of like, oh, I need to look like this pe this person or this person and do these things. No. No, 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 no. We need you. <laughs> yes. We need you. We need you in your body. We need what you have to say. We need your personal style. We don't need... Um, there is no such thing as perfection. Mm -hmm. I think perfection is an individual thing. And... Like, it's getting as close to your authentic self as possible. That's what's going to resonate with people. And I think when we worry about, when our main focus is superficial, it's not, it's just not as satisfying. Right. YOLO, like, enjoy. I think we should focus on enjoyment and helping one another, loving one another. That's what's up right now. Absolutely. Um, even though knowing, and I'm sure it's made you who you are today, a stronger woman mm -hmm. as well, going through all these things. Do you ever think back sometimes when you are out there on stage, especially now with a new project coming out, like, do you still have those little things in your head that you think about where, oh, do I need to change this or do whatever? Or is it just full steam ahead? This is me and this is what it is. No, I mean, my self-love journey is is like peaks and valleys. It, it's not just a straight sailing, a smooth, you know, lazy river of just like, <laughs> woo. Here we I'm, go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I'm, the sh I'm great. Yeah, I'm perfect. It's so not like that. Yeah. But, but for the most part, I, I check in with myself and I ask myself, where's the thought coming from? Is this my fear? Is this my ego? Is this old programming? I'm working on reprogramming yeah. myself. In some ways, you know, reparenting myself. And because you get a lot of messages growing up in this industry or just being a woman in general. Um, being a person in general, so I'm uh, asking myself, like, what, what's true for me? Yeah. Do I like the way I look? Do I like the way I feel? Do I feel strong? What's important to me? And I, I'm asking myself a lot of questions. It's good to ask the questions. Yeah. Because you'll never know. And Correct. you know the answer to them, but you just have to yeah, dig. Yeah, ask the questions and then listen to your internal guidance system. Yeah. We have the answers. Um, um, I know as an artist and as a writer... To be able to put out this new project, to have this new music, and even the stuff that you have done prior to this, all of your amazing music that's out there, you re-recorded everything, right? Yeah, I re-recorded all my, the entirety of my first two albums, okay. as well as a couple standalone singles that were not available on streaming services. Um, not because I didn't want them to be, but because... My former label I apparently didn't have a deal with the streaming services. Since I could do something within my control, I saw that I could recreate new masters and did that because it was just ridiculous to me and upsetting to see people online being like, why'd you take your music off the streaming? I'm like, I You're didn't. Like, I didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't. And, you know, or why can't I find this? Are you trying to, like, take my childhood away from me? I'm like, you're doing too much. You're thinking this. I just, I hate feeling out of control, so I wanted to do what I could. Absolutely. How good does it feel knowing that now you have that power back and that ownership? It feels good. And yeah. I just want to keep that same energy moving forward of like, what are the solutions? What can we do? I hate being told there's nothing you can do. I don't believe that. Yeah. Um, someone in kind of a similar situation to, I don't know, obviously familiar Taylor Swift situation mm -hmm. where she had to re-record things. She hasn't re-recorded them yet. She hasn't, right? No. Okay. So, oh, you know some stuff. No, no. I mean, she <laughs> Tell just, me. <laughs> she, hasn't, she hasn't done it yet. She hasn't I done it yet. She, do you think it would be a good power move for her to do that, just to be able to take that back? I think it would feel very empowering for her to do that. I think she should. I, she definitely has the resources to do it. Like, why not? Why not do it? You know? Yeah, I think her fans, I mean, 
but I, it's not that it's her music is available on streaming services. It is. That's what so the that's difference not, was. You you weren't at all right correct. able to get anyone. So I think she hands. would just do it as a kind of a slap in the face to the, the powers that be. Yeah. Um, whatever she decides is going to be right for her. It's very personal, you know. Okay, and um, I know there's a part in the documentary I wanted to touch on with you that. Uh, obviously regarding substance abuse issues and things of that nature. There was a moment where you said, I should be dead. Thinking back on that and knowing where you are now, when was the moment you realized you had to turn things around? I just realized that no one was going to save me. No one, and that we're responsible for our own happiness. Right. And our own perspective and all that. And... I didn't want to disappoint myself. I didn't want to disappoint. Um, I just didn't, and I particularly didn't want to end up like my dad, you know, who passed away from his addiction. Well, he had, yeah. And um, I don't know. I couldn't have done it without my support system, and it's not like I... I just knew, knew I needed to find balance in my life was, and yeah. that I couldn't deal with my issues in a way that I'm just trying to distract myself from them. I needed to really dive into therapy and yeah. come up with a, some type of meditation practice and prayer and things like that. And I'm by no means perfect. I'm not speaking from a place where like I know how to deal with things better than anybody because that's absolutely not true. But I'm just finding balance for my life and it's it really is one day at a time. Absolutely. We're all human mm -hmm. and we're all going through something. So it's just nice to be able to hear you say it and, and have you have your younger audience and people who followed throughout your career go through similar things and hear you say that you're still working on yourself as well. Absolutely. Every day is a process. Yeah. And um, I want to talk now, getting into this music. Yeah. <laughs> give me the happiness right now. This yeah, music. give me that. Man, break it down. It is out everywhere. Yes. Right now. Go get it. Go listen to it. It feels so friggin' good. I, I love this song. And um, my girl, Lauren LaRue, sent me the song. And it was just an idea at the time. And then I like was obsessed with it immediately. I couldn't get it out of my head. So I finished writing it. And and changed up some things and basically although it's called man it's yeah. about being comfortable with yourself whether you're a man woman but for me I'm a woman and just feeling confident a little you know cocky at times even and being like I if I'm gonna have a partnership with somebody one day they're gonna have to be really friggin' awesome. Yes. Because I know what I'm bringing to the table <laughs> as a woman. Yes. And I, I really enjoy my alone time. I love my space. I love my little sanctuary. I love my routine. So I'm going to have to find something complimentary to that because I'm really digging what I have right now, you know? And so singledom is cool. And that's the kind of really what it's talking about. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Own your singledom. And then yeah. when it's time, it's time. Are, are, are we still owning our singledom right now? Right now, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And I'm not I'm not even really looking. You're like, I'm not even on the hunt. I'm, I'm not, doing my I'm own not thing. on the hunt. I mean, I like, I like to have fun, but I am not on the hunt. Um, the confidence that you have right now, especially like you said, there's like a little bit cocky. That's so, I love hearing you say that. I love women saying that because... It does feel almost scary to say that as a woman sometimes. Yes, because people are going to think, oh, she thinks she's this and that. But when you use cocky in that sense where you say, you know, I got a little bit of cockiness, it's that ownership of yourself coming out yes. and seeing it. How excited are you for fans to get that listen? I'm I'm so excited for fans to hear it, for especially my day one fans, and I'm so excited for people just around the world to hear this music because I know that when I feel like I'm in my bag, that's that vibration is going to translate. Yes. And that's just going to hopefully inspire people to, to find what's dope about them and what makes them feel their best. Like, I know... That, that's infectious. Yeah. So I just want to radiate that and hope that um, it makes people feel great because I'm, I'm feeling good. Do we have a visual? Yes, we have a visual. Ooh, I think it's my favorite yes. video I've ever done. Really? Are yes. you directing it at all? Do you know? Did you know what you wanted? I knew what were... I wanted. I, okay. I didn't want any men in the video, so it's just me and some girlfriends. <laughs> um, shout That's out all to, you need. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to, to Tanache and Ari Lennox, my girl Francia from no. Grownish. And, um, so I just called up my girls and basically just having wine, dancing, and, and feeling good. Um, album release, do we have May 1st. A, okay, May 1st. It's called Good to Know. Good to Know. Yeah, it's, it's good to know that, you know, you can make it through anything. It's good to know that you can 
be whoever you want. It's good to know I can trust myself. Yeah. I, I just found myself saying good to know a lot, like with opinions, with, you know, information. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. May 1st. Yeah. Are we going to be touring? We have any of those yes. set up? I know you have to get out on that stage. I, uh, performing is like one of my favorite. It's just such a privilege uh, as a part of my career. I really love connecting with my fans and every night is such a, I just love living in that moment. So yes, my tour is on sale right now. Tickets are going really fast and um, North America first, then Europe nice. and uh, hopefully coming back around. But get those tickets for good to know. Do we know who's going to hop on stage with you, maybe? Any guest appearances? We're working any? on a couple things. Okay, okay. Yeah. She's not going to tell me is what she's trying to right. tell me. <laughs> you have to get tickets so That's you can right. find out. Um, the one thing that I think, before I have something I want to show you, it's a little throwback for you to okay. see. Um, your fans that have stayed true, and then, the, again, once this tour hits, and today everyone listening to the new music, seeing your journey, the new fans that have come on, do you want to say anything to those people? Oh, welcome. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joe. And um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm learning every day and I just want to be as um, authentic as possible because you deserve that. You deserve somebody who, who really cares as well, like about the music and the art. And I'm just excited for you to be a part of this with me. It's just fun. Like, yeah. I, I'm so lucky to be able to make music, especially um, after my long experience in this game. Yeah. Well, again, I appreciate everything that you said on that documentary. The Thanks. interview that you did, it really touched a lot of people, I know for a fact. We've been talking about it in the office, too. So. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I have to show you something. Okay. <laughs> and I pulled up a tweet, too, because I want to make sure I get all this right. Okay. Let's get the little sound up. Okay. <clears throat> So there's this uh, video, I know you've seen it because you tweeted about it, and you said uh, Whitney Houston, the legend that she was, uttering your name in any type oh. f form was an honor. Yes. So I just wanted to show you because this is when we talked Oh my her. God! <laughs> she loves uh, Ashley Simpson. So this is her talking about She likes Ashley. Bobby. Um, Jojo, get up right now. <laughs> you know, she yeah, loves yeah. that. Yeah, she loves that yeah, song. She's 13. She loves JoJo. She loves JoJo. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> oh, rest in peace, both right. of them. I really, really can't believe it. And I, but that is one of the highlights. When people ask me the highlights of my career, it includes that because her and her daughter sent me flowers when I was performing uh, in New York City, like shortly after that interview. And I recently also got to meet Mariah Carey. So wow. and and sing with her. So 2020 is really lit for me so far. I can't, like, for <laughs> me be personally, great. it's pretty awesome. But to hear her as someone... That's there's Whitney. Whitney. Yes, I was going to say, there's no one like a Whitney Houston. No. She is Whitney Houston forever and ever in our hearts, our minds, the music. To have that always with you. It's unreal. Yeah. It really is unreal. And it oh, just makes me feel so many different things. Wow, she is still teaching me how to sing. You know what I mean? I, I still... As singers or musicians, we say we're shedding. So, like, I'll just go and shed her, you know? Like, I'll just try to emulate her her runs and her agility and her... Um, wow. Uh, and I'll never, never, ever measure up. She's unbelievable. I can't believe that. I know this moment, right? Yeah, that <laughs> you moment. Get it. What a moment. Chills. <laughs> thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank and thank you. you for being so honest with everything. And we're excited Always. for the music. We're ready for the tour. Thank you, girl. Thanks, girl. Thanks. <laughs>